In the late 1930s, a time of turmoil and impending conflict, the world was on the brink of another devastating war, and the United States was taking steps to prepare for the inevitable. Among the various military initiatives, the development and production of the B-17 Flying Fortress stood as a testament to American ingenuity and determination. General Carl Spotts, commander, U.S. Strategic Air Forces in Europe during World War II once said without the B-17, we might have lost the war. The B-17, designed by Boeing, was a four-engine heavy bomber. Its manufacturing process was a marvel of modern engineering for its time. The aircraft featured an all-metal construction, which was an innovative departure from the fabric-covered aircraft of the era. The B-17 was designed to carry a substantial payload, and its distinctive shape, with multiple gun turrets bristling from its fuselage, earned it the name Flying Fortress. The manufacturing process was an intricate dance of precision engineering and skilled labor. The B-17 was constructed with an aluminum alloy frame and skin, a departure from the wood and fabric construction of earlier aircraft. This not only made it more durable but also allowed for higher altitudes and faster speeds. The B-17 boasted a wingspan of 103 feet and 9 inches, and each aircraft was meticulously assembled by a team of dedicated workers. At the heart of the B-17's prowess was its engine. The aircraft was powered by four Pratt and Whitney R1820 engines, each capable of producing 1,200 horsepower. These engines were a marvel of engineering, providing the necessary thrust to carry the heavy bomber and its crew on long missions. The B-17's engines were not only powerful but also reliable, a crucial factor in the unpredictable and often hostile skies of World War II. They allowed the Flying Fortress to reach altitudes of up to 35,000 feet, well beyond the reach of many enemy fighters and anti-aircraft guns. The B-17 may have been a technological marvel, but it was the men who crewed these mighty machines that breathed life into them. A typical B-17 crew consisted of 10 individuals, each with a specific role to play. Pilot and co-pilot were responsible for flying the aircraft and making critical decisions during the mission. The navigator ensured that the aircraft followed the correct course to reach its target and return safely. The bombardier was responsible for accurately releasing the aircraft's payload on the target. This crew member handled communication with ground control and other aircraft. The engineer monitored the aircraft systems and made in-flight repairs if necessary. Top turret gunner manned the top turret, providing defense against attacks from above. The ball turret gunner occupied a cramped space beneath the aircraft and was responsible for defense against attacks from below. Two waste gunners operated machine guns to defend the aircraft from side attacks. The tail gunner defended the aircraft from rear attacks. The crew of a B-17 was a tightly knit team, and their trust in each other was essential for the success of their missions. They faced the perils of enemy fighters, flak, and the harsh conditions of high-altitude flight together, forging bonds that would last a lifetime. The B-17 Flying Fortress was not just a symbol of American resolve, it was a formidable force in the skies over Europe and the Pacific. Its combat performance was exceptional, and it earned a reputation for being able to take a tremendous amount of damage and still return its crew safely to base. One of the most remarkable aspects of the B-17's combat performance was its defensive armament. The aircraft was bristling with machine guns, including turrets on the top, bottom, front, and rear. These guns could be operated by the crew, providing overlapping fields of fire that made it a challenging target for enemy fighters. The B-17's ability to absorb damage and keep flying became legendary. Pilots and crew members often recounted harrowing tales of their aircraft returning with massive holes, missing tail sections, and engines on fire but still managing to land safely. This remarkable durability not only saved countless lives but also struck fear into the hearts of enemy pilots who faced the Flying Fortress. The B-17 entered service with the United States Army Air Corps in the late 1930s, but it was in World War II that it truly made its mark. It was the backbone of the U.S. 8th Air Force in Europe, and its missions were nothing short of heroic. One of the most famous missions involving B-17s was the Memphis Belle. This B-17 bomber, piloted by Captain Robert Morgan, became the first in the 8th Air Force to complete 25 combat missions over Europe, a remarkable feat considering the odds stacked against bomber crews. The Memphis Belle's crew became national heroes, and their story was later immortalized in a documentary and a Hollywood film. The B-17 also played a crucial role in the Pacific Theater, where it conducted long-range bombing missions against Japanese targets. These missions often required the aircraft to fly for hours over vast stretches of ocean, facing not only enemy fighters but also the challenges of navigation and weather. While the B-17 was primarily associated with the United States, it found its way into the service of other Allied nations during World War II. The aircraft's reputation for durability and effectiveness made it a sought-after asset. The United Kingdom, in particular, received a significant number of B-17 as part of the Lend-Lease program. These aircraft were operated by the Royal Air Force and played a vital role in the strategic bombing campaign against Nazi Germany. The British affectionately referred to the B-17 as the Flying Fortress, a name that had already become synonymous with the aircraft. Other countries, such as Canada and Australia, also operated B-17s during the war, further highlighting the aircraft's global impact. 
The legacy of the B-17 Flying Fortress endures to this day. It played a pivotal role in the Allied victory in World War II, helping to turn the tide of the war through its precision bombing raids and unyielding resilience. Beyond its military significance, the B-17 became a symbol of American determination and ingenuity in the face of adversity. In the post-war years, many B-17s were retired from military service and repurposed for civilian use. They became cargo planes, firefighting aircraft, and even aerial photographers. A few were preserved as flying museums, allowing future generations to experience the roar of those Pratt and Whitney engines and the sight of a flying fortress in flight. Today, B-17s are a rare sight in the skies, but their memory lives on. Museums around the world house beautifully restored examples of these iconic aircraft, and veterans of World War II often share their stories, ensuring that the legacy of the B-17 Flying Fortress continues to inspire and educate. In conclusion, the B-17 Flying Fortress was more than just a machine of war. It was a symbol of courage, sacrifice, and the indomitable spirit of the men and women who served in World War II. From its humble beginnings on the assembly line to its triumphant missions over Europe and the Pacific, the B-17 left an indelible mark on history. It stands as a testament to the power of innovation, teamwork, and the human spirit in the face of adversity. The B-17 Flying Fortress truly earned its place as the skyborne workhorse of World War II's allies.